Yeah, hello. I'm Retro Jules. The Polski grind ski still continues. And recently, just having come back from Poland, I'm even more determined to get through this goddamn Polish line. The 40 TP was just. I suppose it was playable, slow, sluggish, mundane, and quite a grind. But I found that actually almost playing it like a tank destroyer kind of worked quite well for me. So I'm rolling this out fully unlocked, still no crew skills. And I started using a bit of equipment. Now I don't tend to use the equipment that you have to pay gold to refund. I'm not going to do it at these tiers because I don't want to have to spend 30 gold every time I change tank. Until I get up to maybe about tier 7 or 8. But what I did do with this tank, I thought, well if I put binos on and a camo net, they are going to be a benefit. And also... They won't cost me anything and I can get a full refund when I unlock the 45TP. Managed to get myself in the sweet spot on this map and this is such a cracking spot if the team don't come the other way on the 9 and 0 lines and you can look right down through the middle of the city and normally get some really nice flanking shots. So here I am, camo net to cover me up binoculars if I keep still to see what's coming and snipe away and it worked quite well KV1 here we go here we go here we go and oh, derps it into the ground yeah it's not accurate I, I didn't I wouldn't recommend this tank I didn't really lose patience with it it was just one of those meh tanks really just got on with it and there was absolutely no way that I was going to go into the city I mean we are top tier but I am only a medium and I thought I'm going to be a little bit selfish I'm going to hang back try and get tracking shots wherever I can try and get my assisted damage and just get that juicy XP to get rid of this tank and move on to the 45 TP where we then turn into a heavy there's an absolution. There's a few of those appearing now, and now they are rock hard to take out. And I was having a look at the armor profile just the other day, and it is just covered in spaced armor. Right, well, we're not comfortably winning this, but we are ahead. Now, there's that. That's a KV1 coming. There's a medium in the middle. And we're slightly outnumbered in the C2 area. I'm going to stay here. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> nice kill number two. I decide that I'm just going to stay here, out of harm's way. And just see what our team do and then react accordingly. I am not going to get stuck in in close-up battles. Tank destroyer mode it is. Look at this. In a bush. Binos on. Camo on. No, I didn't stay there long enough. Nothing's coming across the middle and then yeah, they've taken Artie out. I was keeping an eye on that B4 corner. Keep going. Keep going. And yeah, you've been spotted. And just no sixth sense, which is another reason why I wasn't going to go ploughing in. Keeping my distance. Seeing if that heavy was going to stick its nose out, and it doesn't. Obviously saw the medium get taken out and thought better of it. Waiting for that heavy to come forward. The KV-85. It's going to be side on. Come on, just creep forward. No, so time to go in. See if I can help my comrade. And I'm pretty sure that heavy is still sort of the B3 area. One heavy left. 
Now they obviously don't know, because I'm not quite sure what direction they're going in. But I'm pretty sure it's over here on the right hand side. And, well I've got full health, so I'm quite happy to go in there. And be a little bit YOLO-y. Can't remember how much health that heavy had. Oh, there it is, E1. Let's come right back. The other guys didn't have a clue. In fact, yeah, attack, but do you actually know where the tank is? Because you're going the very long way around. Okay. Well, that's fine. I will go in. Churchill. I'm just over half health. God, it's back to me. Doesn't know I'm here. Job done. Churchill taken out, and that was one of the last games I had in the 40 TP. And playing it pretty much as a tank destroyer and getting in that sweet spot of the map really did help. And how did we do overall? Not worried about the silver, not worried about the damage. It's all about the XP, 2,370. That is absolutely fine. Thank you very much. And sort of top middle of the table. Well, that then led me very nicely into the 45 TP Happy Ha, the first heavy of the tech tree. The 45 TP is potentially a bit of a highlight. For some reason, playing it as a stock tank with a 75% crew and no skills seems to be working for me. And long may that continue. Still got binos and a camo net. And I thought... I just kind of did that automatically, forgetting that actually the tier 745 TP is a heavy. Not really the right equipment at all, and I did readdress that and I thought, yeah, I'm going to have to start spending a bit of gold now. And I changed that to a gun laying drive, a gun rammer, and I can't remember if it was optics or vents. It was one of the two. But for some reason... The first few games I had with this as stock were really quite pleasing and I thought this may be the way forward. This could be the highlight, a little light at the end of the Polish tunnel that has so far been quite a dark journey. So I just thought I'm going to play the Hill 9. We haven't, we've only got one medium, and I'm not sure where that is on the mini-map right now, I've lost track of that, but we've got nobody spotting, oh there's the medium at H6, back a bit. So I thought, right, well I'm going to do it, I, I'm not going to have the view range, unless I stay still and put the binos on, which probably isn't a good idea, and I thought I will stay in the middle of the map and just see what happens. No artillery to be worried about, and it is... A completely tier 7 game. Apart from the enemy, for some reason we're all tier 7s and they've got two tier 6s. Which is really not fair on the Reds. But I'd rather it was that way round. Now, just coming back from Poland, I there's three words. I always like to learn in any language wherever I go. Which is always hello or hello. Always thank you and then normally sorry. Uh, for various reasons I won't go into but I think it's always nice to say hello in somebody's native tongue. I always like to be grateful in somebody's native tongue and more often than not I quite have to be sorry. I do not know what sorry is in Polish. Hello or good day was Dzień Dobra. And thank you was Dzień Kuya. And I've got the hang of those. But I have no idea what sorry was. And that would be quite handy. Because I am terrible for walking through streets. 
gazing at all the architecture and looking around in awe at a different country and bumping into people, falling off curbs, spilling my beer in a local pub. So if you guys know what sorry is in Polish, please put it down below and please put down how to pronounce it because the Polish language is rock hard. Anyway, back to the 45 TP Happy Hass, the first heavy in the tech tree. And I'm down to just under half health. Took a bit of a hammering there. I've only spotted one tank. Not really doing anything effective at this stage. But I'm determined to stay here because there are tank destroyers behind me. I do have an effective turret, I think. I don't know how effective the stock turret is, actually, thinking about it. And the first damage shot of the game on a Leo, which was side on. Ooh, do I get another shot? Ah, oh, missed. It's so nice not having arty. And another shot in. It's an encounter battle, and pretty much the enemy have just gone right round, hoping to flank us. They've all gone down heavy alley. And our heavies haven't. So their heavies have gone down heavy alley, and our heavies have gone into the village. And our tank destroyers have just sat back, and we have a heavy at H8. And I have no idea what the heavy's doing. Now this, I have no idea what this, this AMX is doing. A complete YOLO. Do you know I'm behind you? Did you not even see me? Did you not know I was there? Yeah, you do now. One more shot. <laughs> I have no idea what that M4 was thinking or doing or trying to achieve. It was YOLOing a tank destroyer, a heavy, with me behind it. Mm. Now I'm sure that tiger's over here somewhere. Do I know where the tank destroyer is? Because I want to... Ooh, got T29 with its back to us. Gone. So these heavies are probably going to rush the TDs. And there's that heavy uh, G8 now. So it is playing and it is active. Come on. Come on, are you going to poke out, are you? I'm ready for you. Nice shot in the side of the Black Prince. Do I get a chance? Nah, never mind. We have a two tank advantage. But where is the tank destroyer? Right, there's a medium and another heavy. And it's, it's the Firefly, the only one of two tier sixes in the game. There's the tiger. Do I get a shot? Can I finish that tiger? Yes! Nicely done. Three kills. Three assisted. Three assisting. This shouldn't be too bad a result. And stock tank, 75% crew. No skills, etc, etc. Six premium shells. Just in case. I've got myself prepped for this tank. It's tier seven. And I'm starting to take this grind seriously. Now, I, I just still haven't, even in the replay, I haven't clocked that TD. So either that TD hasn't been discovered yet, or I just haven't clocked it on the minimap. And the trouble is, if I find it, I'm going to be on my own. You reckon it's over there? See, I don't think it's going to be at the spawn. Why would it? Well, it could still be at the spawn, but... Ah. Hadn't been spotted. There it is. And, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not in such a good position now. Come on, guys. Come and help me out. I'm going to... No, couldn't. Got a shot in. I couldn't track it. Oh, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> well, if I will go searching for a... Soviet tank destroyer on my own. 
I guess something could happen. Never got a chance to track it and get round it. Anyway, our guys are moving in. The two TDs weren't far behind. I could have held back. I should have held back, really. But they make short work of that. And that, as a stock game, was all right, actually. Again, a little bit TD mode, just sniping from one position and staying there. And a very respectable 4,700 XP on the first win of the day. Some missions in there. 2,400 damage, second class mastery. 60 grand silver. How do we do overall? Yeah, there's some XP boosts. Come on, Retro, how do we do overall? Get to the screen. Yeah, okay. Sharpshooter, fire for effect. Just get to the... Thank you. Ah, oh, we came second overall. The second highest damage dealer on our team. And finally, yet another game in the 45 TP. Top tier. In fact, there are two tier fives in this game. And unfortunately... They're both on our team this time, so we have the low tier tanks. Why does Matchmaker not take those two tier fives and put one on each team? Anyway, this game I really enjoyed. Still got the same equipment, which actually could have come in handy in this game. Still, it's not 100% crew. I'm not sure what stage they're at. Still the stock tank and no skills are working at all but this game has the perfect blend of good map awareness tunnel vision and panic so i am just heading for the middle of the map because i know i'm stock and potentially any same tier tanks i come up against could have much better guns than me so I thought I would head for the middle of the map, get a general idea of what's going on, and take it from there. And I'm going to head straight on to sort of E6, and hopefully peer over the edge and get a picture of what's going on. So a nice, soft KV-85. And there's another heavy, a Churchill, a tier 6. So I've got two tier sixes down here, so this could be quite nice for a little bit of damage. But my gun really is quite a nibbler. Does anybody know I'm here? So we've all pushed quite nicely across the map, but we do not have the ridge covered on the zero line. We have the two TDs and RT camping at the base. Nice shot on the T-150, and it's taken out. Right, am I good to go? I really want to try and get round the corner. Oh, there's an OE at the back. Nice side shot would be good. Oh, that'll do. It's on three health. One more shot. Oh, blind shot. Surely it's still there. No. Do you know what? I don't reckon that tank has moved. <laughs> and it hadn't. And we take the OE out. Our first kill. Hurrah. VK running away. Aim, aim, aim. And, oh, daps into the tracks. And there was the tunnel vision. Completely not keeping an eye on the minimap. And I'm not the only one with tunnel vision. Our Tiger P down there has got complete tunnel vision to the point he gets shot and still doesn't realise who's shooting him. I'm backing right up. Nice easy auto aim on the Tiger P. Our Tiger P is set on fire. Hello? There's a tank above you, it's just set you on fire. You're still looking the other way. I'm not pushing in. Ugh. It's coming in for the kill. I'm going to stay on top of the ridge. Can I track it? I, ah, no. Got a critical shot. A critical hit, rather. But I didn't track the tank. Just going to do the damage. 
Well, our Tiger P certainly knows that their Tiger P is there. And it is taken out. And it's going to take quite a few shots from me to take that Tiger P out. Yeah, that bounced. I don't have the penetration. It's it's the stock gun retro. You're going to have to be clever. Don't, don't aim for the mantle. That's not going to go in either. Track it. Track it as it comes over the top. It hasn't got the gun depression. Wait. Wait. Fire. Nice. Oh, and an ammo rack. <laughs> nice. Just keep it there. Keep it tracked. And we take the Tiger P out. That, for me, was actually quite well thought out and quite well played. The game is even. There is all to play for. So there's the heavy at B5. Two heavies at B4 and 5, taking on our two heavies. But I don't know where the TD is, and I don't know... Oh, there's the medium. I've not clocked the TD, so I'm just checking... The coast is clear. Ah, there's the TD. The coast is clear. As long as Artie doesn't get a sniff of me, I can... There's the T29. I'm hoping to come round the back and help our guys. Nice shot in the back of the T29's turret. Yep, get out of the way. It knows I'm here. So I reckon... Oh, hang on, who's targeting me? It's not the T29. It's going to be the medium sniping from the ridge. So I, yeah, I need to be, the, the heavy's down in the riverbed. As long as I'm not lit up, then that medium on the ridgeline won't know I'm here. I won't be lit up to get hit. And I'm thinking, right, our two TDs and artillery are base camping, which is fine. And now it's just them and me. I need to get rid of Artie. Got to take Artie out of the equation. Potentially, that could be leaving our guys a little bit vulnerable. But I need to take Artie out for two reasons, really. One, because I like taking Artie out. And secondly, it's just going to make our lives a little bit easier. And then we can really think about the strategy of how we're going to win this game. Now, I think Artie is going to be ENF1. I reckon. Normally find it on the back slope there. But it could be down at J1. It could be up at K1. I'm going to go for ENF1. Because that's where I expect to see it. Mm, yeah, yeah, it could be there. But I, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to just check over the brow of this hill first. I'm tempted with your thinking. I haven't clocked Arty. There it is. Oh no! Just ah, oh, the auto aim flew over the top. Didn't quite get over the ridge enough. And the trouble is, I do not want to stay still. And this tank does not shoot well on the mid. No, 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 you don't. You're not gonna ram me, you filthy red square. Yeah, you see, there's no way I'm keeping still. I'm gonna stay on the move, but my gun is gonna be crap on the move. Get a shot in, and. Took a big chunk off. Oh, and it's coming in for the ram. I don't know how this is going <laughs> to... Well, Artie is taken out. I can't take the credit for it, but I will take the kill. Thank you very much. <sighs> right. It is the four of us against a heavy. It's that T29. And somebody reckons it's in the middle of the map. Yeah, I, I think it's... Probably pretty much where we left it. Because surely if it had come forward towards the sort of six and seven line, our TDs would have spotted it. And it would be highlighted on the map. I think it's further back. It's behind a ridge, I reckon. Trouble is, if it is behind a ridge and I find it, our guys aren't going to have a line of sight and they're not going to be able to hit it which is going to leave me 
going up against a T29. And I'm not sure I fancy that prospect. But I've got to highlight that tank and hopefully artillery can be effective as well. Where is this T29? A little bit nervous right now. Just going to poke up. There it is. Nice shot in. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Right, T29 now knows where I am. And it's going to come over that hill, isn't it? It's definitely going to come straight at me. I reckon... Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Not sure. Which way is that T29 going to go? This is making me a little bit nervous right now. Is it going to come over the top? I can take one hit from that T29. As long as it doesn't set me on fire, because we do not have a fire extinguisher, because you guys know I don't carry them. I've got two repair kits just in case I get trapped with them. Well, I was on the right hand side. Panic shot, get out the way. I'm a little bit closer to that T29 than I'd like to be, and I am a one shot. Another panic shot, auto aim, track the T29. Get out, Retro. Go, go, go. RT misses. Oh, no. Keep going. Oh, that is coming. It's coming around the corner. Can I get over the edge before it gets a... Yes, no line of sight. Keep going. Go round to the right. Just run, run, run. Any minute it's going to come around that corner. I know it is. I'm so nervous right now. Is it going to come across the top, take a shortcut? Yes. Oh, it just takes a shot and takes out some furniture. And I pause to make an SOS. And unfortunately, one of our TDs who was coming down to help suicided and fell off the cliff and died. Really relying on our team because all I can do is run. What I want to do is put some distance between me and the T29 because I can put my camo net on, put the binos on and I can spot that T29 before it sees me. Keep it spotted and hopefully RT or the TD will have a line of sight and finish it off. So that's the plan to just go up to the top here, poke over, sit there with the camo net on and no, not going to get a chance. <laughs> Another panic shot. Going to stay out of the way. Right, I still need to put distance between me and that T29. Don't want that T29 to know where I am. But our team do now. Just need RT. <laughs> yes. Well done, RT. <sighs> that T29 is taken out and we win the game. That was a skin of my teeth flying by the seat of my pants. And I enjoyed every minute of it. That was fun. And an excellent 71,000 silver. Just under 3,000 damage. Over 3,000 XP. A first class mastery. And how did we do overall? Come on Retro, you're really slow at bringing that screen up. How did we do overall? Come on, man, stop looking. For Thank you. How we came top. Hurrah. Well, I have enjoyed so far my first experiences of the 45 TP as a stock heavy tank. Long may that continue. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep safe, keep tanking, and I'll see you soon.